Hey guys, this is Premium Poppy. God bless. I hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am. Welcome back to Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. We're going to continue on with the Elder Dragon Hunt. And here we go. We're going to gather tracks in the Alcala Valley. And let's see what happens. It has been a great day out. Not too warm, not too cold. Beautiful, beautiful sun out. Um, very nice, cool breeze. It's been a good day. Let's take a look for those monsters tracks in the Alcala Valley that cl the clerk mentioned. Here we go. Alright. That's one. Gotta keep going. You know, I... Eh, no, I'm gonna stick with uh, Thy Lump. i definitely use, let's say... I'd use Valkana, or, excuse me, I'd use Elieska or Ratha. Except for the little known fact that a lot of these are on the ground. And I don't want to risk monsters finding us yet. Oh, I apologize for that lag. Well, looks like we're going to have to use it. I <clears throat> I was mistaken. There we go. <clears throat> now we can continue. Alright, you're leading us across the bridge. But yeah, it's been a good day. I can't complain. You know, the Lord always works in, my, in our lives, even when we don't expect it. Sometimes we aren't doing the best we should in our walk with him. Sometimes we mess up, but he's always faithful every single day, and it shocks me, and I I can't be grateful enough for what the Lord does for me. And I apologize if you guys hear anything downstairs. That would be my dog barking her lungs out at literally nothing. So, the Skyflies found something on the western side. Let's go take a look. All right, here we go. Guess we're heading to the west. All right, give me one second. I actually want to see what my dog is barking at. Anyway, besides all that stuff, I apologize. Turns out my, my uh, one of my family members and the dog we were getting into it. Dog was like, <laughs> chances are there's a deviant den around here too. You see any other tracks, buddy? Um, I do not, not yet, but we'll head right up here. Might be something interesting down here. And there is. Some mushrooms with tracks on it. We obtained a great shroom. Is there anything else? I love how fast Valkana is. <clears throat> Valkana is just a really, really fast elder dragon. There's that. Alright, where do we gotta go now? <clears throat> gotta head all the way over here. Actually, it's not too bad. There you go. Gotta keep going. I think those are called gargoyles, I believe. Gotta make it across that river. Man, this Velcana is fast. This makes it really easy for us. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's a little dry. It always is, you know? It happens. Oh! Besides that, um, I did not mean for that to happen. Kind of ran into it, what can I say? Alright, where else? We gotta head this way. You know, we're getting past this really fast. We're almost four minutes in. The Skyflies found a den. I think it belongs to a Deviant. Well, well, I guess when we can just go in ourselves. Yep. <clears throat> Show me the den. Where are you? The Ever Den. Alright. Let's go look for this, um, den. <clears throat> and there's a rare den right there, so maybe that will be it. That's a high, a rare high rank monster den. Give me a second, I'm gonna go get the eggs. I mean, it's nothing really too impressive. It looks to be either a Yan Garuga egg or another egg. <clears throat> and there's the Yan Garuga over there, so I'll take that I can get. Anyway, let's keep going. Alright. There it is. That's the subquest in. Perfect for us. Let's enter and see what we will find. Maybe we'll find some deviant monster or something. I think it, I think I might know what deviant we're going to be facing, but just in case of that rare chance I don't know, uh, we'll just have to see. So, it's, it's been a good day, you know? Got to hang out with some friends, play some... Act I actually got to play some Monster Hunter uh, uh, 4 Ultimate and 3 Ultimate. That was, that was really fun. Uh... The two of us, we did multiplayer, we uh, 
we enjoyed ourselves, you know? We played around a little bit. We were like, hey, yo, bro, let's let's hunt these monsters. We hunted, I believe, a Assaultus. We hunted a, a Gypsyros. <clears throat> we also hunted a... Uh, what's it called? Oh, a Ketchawatcha. There we go. We hunted a Ketchawatcha as well, so... That was enjoyable. I enjoyed being able to hunt the Ketchawatcha. It was fun. We, uh, really outdid ourselves, not gonna lie. I'm trying to figure out my way on where to go, but I figured out we gotta go up on this little mound and keep walking forward. <clears throat> it's good to have the, uh, thy lump with us. Makes things a lot easier for us. Especially in this high rank sub quest end, you know? But yeah, we, uh, hunted some monsters, made some armor. It was pretty fun. I never really got to play multiplayer. I mean, I got to play on World and a little bit of Rise, but when it comes to anything else heavy, like, uh, heavy old games, uh, like, uh, four, 3 Ultimate, 4 Ultimate, <clears throat> Freedom Unite, those type of stuff, I never got to play, because no, not a lot of people own it, and no one really is willing to give Monster Hunter a try, because of a, it's kind of like Dark Souls mixed with, you know, like, Monster Hunting, so <clears throat> no one wants to give that stuff a try. Speaking of which, I went the complete opposite way of that I was, which I was supposed to go. Alright, now we're on the right way now. So, I'm still curious about what Davine this is. Made it to another area. Might be a... Ooh, a Dur uh, Durham Drumbos, I think it's called. Honestly, I don't feel like fighting this thing. So, we're gonna just keep going. A Durham Barros, I think it's called. Duro Barros, or, uh, whatever it's called, I can't remember. It's hard to pronounce anyway. I'll just call it the spinning hammer because that's literally what it is. It's just a it has a club for a hammer. So, ooh, vital essence. I'll take it. Wonder, wonder what else we'll get. The adamant charm. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh, I wasn't expecting this monster. This is what you call a grim tigrex. Um, I. Yeah, I'm, give me one moment to look up this weakness for this monster, and I can, so I can explain it better for you guys. Alrighty, guys. So, this monster, I will tell you the weakness, but let's what? get right into it. My whiskers are tingling. Oh boy, that's gonna be terrifying. But here we go, Grim Call Tigrex. So Grim Call Tigrex is weak against uh, when it's not in rage. It's weak against uh, speed types. So keep that noted. If you're good enough, you should be able to dodge most of its attacks. It doesn't have that many specialized... It doesn't have that many specialized um, attacks, so... Besides maybe a rock throw, use your speed attacks to your advantage. The head is very, very weak against um, the sword and the shield, or the great sword. However, the body and the tail are weak against the hammer. So... It is weak to thunder type moves as well, so keep that noted. I do admit it's a pretty cool looking monster. <clears throat> I like how it has like an electric glow, even though it's totally not electric, but you know, we can always guess. A rock slugger. I wonder how much damage that's gonna do. Eh, it's not too much damage. The, uh. The, uh, Nagakuga, uh, the Silverwood Nagakuga did a lot more damage. So when it targets you, it will use a. When it targets you and it's not enraged, I should say, it will use a power attack. And when it's not targeting you, it will use that rock thrower attack. So just keep that noted. <clears throat> I'm going to use a kinship skill. There we go. Alright, we'll have to go again. Let's do a, another speed attack. Rock slugger. Yep. I think it's going to hit thy lump, and I'm not happy about that. It did not. <clears throat> Alright guys, so, when Grimclaw Tigrex is mad, you want to switch out to a, a technical type. My reasoning is because it is weak to, to speed. And when it's weak to speed, especially a, a speed type that has a thunder element attached, you will do massive damage to it. Alright, um, yeah, let's do another... No, we need to switch out to the hammer. Speaking of which, it's the Astalos Smasher. So we're going to be using two Thunder types against the, um, the T-Grex. Look at all that damage. That's just, that's great. Dude, we're doing really, really well. 
All right, let's ride Talos, and we'll go from there. I do definitely want to use uh, Nurkakuga's special move against the Tigrex. I think it's going to be really, really cool. Um, let's use a... Ten no, no, no. It's going to use a Rock Slugger attack. And if we don't... Yeah, I, we can last through a attack. The Crushing Fist. I wonder what that is. Let's look. Ah. So it, did, it does two different attack damages. And now that it's not enraged anymore, we need to switch out... Uh, let's just use a... Our kinship skill, I guess. We have to actually use it. 800 damage, not bad. Let me switch out to Thy Lump. I'm also going to heal Thy Lump unless he uses a speed attack. Nope, there we go. Perfect. Alright, we're going to use the hammer, use speed attack, and man, we're getting a lot of damage off this monster. And let's go again. We're getting a lot of double attacks that are critical. I like it. Not critical, but you know. You know what I'm saying. Um, I'm going to use another speed attack. Definitely. We can definitely live through this. I don't think the Nargakuga will live. Nope. Well, that stinks. Alright, I, I do want to look at the Nargakuga's attack. When facing this thing. So, I'm going to use a technical attack first and foremost. It uses Salvage War... Uh, roar, but that's not going to do a whole lot against us. There we go. Now let's use this uh, move. Yeah, you're not using Crushing Fist on us, bud. This is going to look really cool. Oh, that looks really cool. Dude, I love it. That looked really cool. Got to do the Tippy Tappies. Which we're definitely going to win. There we go. We are beating this thing to a pulp. I love it. I don't love beating it to a pulp, but I love being able to do good enough. Uh, let's use another speed attack. Man, we're doing really well. We are just shredding this thing to pieces. I also like... Oh, there we go. Let's use a... Uh, we can use the kinship skill if we really want. I'm going to use another speed attack first. I've been uploading a lot of... Uh, stories too. But it's been a fun game, so I, I can't complain about it. I, I honestly can't. Uh, let me use... That's uh, enraged, so... Let me try a technical attack. There we go. Let me get a drink of water. Excuse me. Um... I'm gonna make it a goal to use a... Mega Potion. Yeah, I'm gonna use a Mega Potion. I wanna be able to survive this. It'd be really cool if the Salvage Roar knocked you off the monster for a Tigrex. I think that'd be cool. Just add a little bit of extra pizzazz to the game, per se. Let's go again. I, I want to look at that move. That was a really cool move. You know, the kinship skill, especially against a, a uh, Grimclaw Tigrex at night. It just looks so cool. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the colors. Yeah, it's definitely just the colors. It still looks good. I can't complain. Alright, we're going to use another speed attack, which we're going to get a double attack off. Great for us. Dude, we're just shredding through this thing. Let me tell you. Um, um, I'm trying to see. Spinning Meteor crushes one. Okay, yep, let's do it. I want to take out those legs. There we go. And we won against that. So now that it's mad, I think I'm going to switch out to Velcana. Actually, no, let's go Talos. I wanted to switch out to Velcana just because Talos was a little bit weaker. However, um, Talos has a Thunder element attached, which is going to be very beneficial to us. So, we are doing absolute work on this thing. <clears throat> well, I mean, Talos did just get wiped out, so that's not cool. Bad, bad boy. Uh, let me use a Vital Essence. <clears throat> Salvage Roar is definitely going to damage both of us. Alright, come on. <clears throat> yep, that's going to that's gonna hurt. This Wrath Heart armor is really doing us a lot of work. Also, if you haven't noticed, I switched out um, 
my layered armor to the Poke Poke armor, I thought, hey, why not try this out again? We haven't really used this a whole lot, so I'll use a Dust of Life. Should be good enough. I like the Poke Poke armor in this uh, zone, the Alcala region. It look, it just looks really, really good, you know. So it's not enraged anymore, and it's gonna. Wow, Talos, good job. We lived through that. Talos is gonna use Plasma Breath or Blaster, one or the other. All right, let's ride good old fashioned Talos, and I want to use the Kinship Skill. Here we go. That must really hurt. Think about that. Tigrex is weak to thunder uh, attacks, and we just full on blasted this poor dude. Um, ah, uh, thy lump. I think I'll switch out to you. Please use a speed attack. Okay, good for you. And we got a double attack. Good for us. This thing shouldn't be. There we go. Wow, I was just gonna say we almost should take it out. Perfect. That went very, very well. Grim Grimclaw Tigrex is actually really cool. I wonder what his armor looks like. I mean, we beat it real simply. Oof, that Grimclaw Tigrex was a handful. Let's head back and report a job well done. Indeed, we did an absolute fantastic job. Alright, let's see what egg we'll get. Here we go. Looks like a Glavinous Egg. Yeah, definitely Glavinous Egg. That's a T-Grex egg. Nice. And there's that. And eh, let's get one more. Ooh, that's interesting. I guess we'll go with it. Alright, guys. I will see you at the Scrivener's Lodge, where we talk to Lilia. Actually, no. We're going to talk to the, the, the Deviant Lady, I think. I believe. I'm, I have, I'm trying to think, you know? I wonder what egg we got also. Humble herbivore egg. Alright guys, I will see you at, at the next area, which is where we need to talk to the, uh, the quest person. Honestly, I was kind of hoping to fight a elder dragon for this episode, but I'll take another deviant. Did you find any- did you find anything? <clears throat> I did. Welcome back. How was the excursion? Did you find out what monster those tracks belong to? We did. Did indeed. A Grimclaw Tigrex. Even experienced hunters have a tough time with them, and you defeated it, just like that. By the way, did you go to the Scrivener's Lodge? I think someone was looking for you. Alright, what else do you got to say? <laughs> this time, I was just telling me that a deviant monster's tracks are found in the West Lamar Desert. I wonder what kind of deviant monster it will be this time. I know I can count on you to find out. We will do that. <laughs> so, the Oasis, I believe it is. Let me go look at the armor first. I want to see what kind of armor this is. You know, the Grimclaw, uh, the Grimclaw Tigrex armor doesn't look so bad. It actually looks really good. <clears throat> so, I will just craft it. Because I can. And there we go. That looks really good. I wonder if they have any weapons. Grimclaw hammer. Now that looks really, really good. <clears throat> Is there any uh, Grimclaw... I like the Kieran's Bolt. That looks really, really good. Let me tell you, that just looks phenomenal. Sadly, I don't see anything else except for the T-Rex. Maybe it's a great sword. Um, No. Yep, it's only the hammer. I did a hunt a Rajang, as I told you, I believe, before. We will hunt him definitely next chance we get, so... It is a nice-looking hammer. It does a lot of damage, so... Blast Fire Chaser. What is that? Ooh. It inflicts targets with Burn or Blast Blade. Oh, it targets inflicted with Burn or Blast Blade. Take more damage. Okay, Thank nice. Alright, well, let's go take a look and see what, if the Scrivener's Lodge actually needs anything. I was wrong. The Scrivener's Lodge doesn't need anything. It was just that lady talking. But, anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you guys in the next episode. We will probably hunt either a Deviant or an Elder Dragon. I don't know. We'll have to find out.
You guys will have to find out. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and God bless. Shut up, Naviru. Not in public. <laughs>